No, they're just outspeeding and smacking me with a weather ball right now, dude. I'm the deadest thunderous. Wow, what? Okay. Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports. Welcome to the VGC Battle Sim Regulation <coughs> video, bringing you a thunderous Therian team. Thunderous Therian is back. I feel like I use this Pokemon pretty much in every single regulation just because Wild Bolt Storm is a really fun, you know, move to have. And Thunderous Therian, like design wise, kind of like peak genie design, right? That's just my opinion. But like out of all the Therians, Thunderous is kind of cool, right? I do like me at Thunderous. Anyway, Thunderous here, rocking the Toy Scarf, rocking the Flying Terror with the Terra Blast, Snarl, Wild Bolt Storm, and Thunderbolt, I guess, just in case they have Wide Guard on their side of the field. We're here to enter the field. Bring a Pelipper next to us, go for 100% accurate Wind Bolt Storms or Wild Bolt Storms, and call it a day. Get as many pairs as we can, see if those pairs mean anything later, and then maybe win the game with it. Now, on this team, this isn't like your, your regular run in the middle rain team. I actually have no Swift Swimmers on this team whatsoever. We're running the Archaladon though, with the Salt Vest, with the Electro Shot, just to take advantage of constantly getting more and more special attack from the Electro Shot. We also have Pokemon like Rillaboom, who doesn't like fire types. We have Instant on the team, who doesn't like water types. But hey, it's still a great fake out Pokemon. It's still a great parting shot Pokemon. It still has access to knockoff. Still a good Pokemon all around. And then last but not least, this is the interesting one. Baxcalibur is here as well. Baxcalibur like murders every Landorus form, which this team does kind of struggle against. Like, you know, Thunderous can't hit it too much. Rillaboom can't really hit it too much. Instant can't really hit it too much. And our Chowdon just kind of falls to it. So the Baxcalibur is here just to help us against opposing Landoruses and maybe make that matchup a little bit easier for us. We'll see if we go against any today. And uh, yeah. That's the rain team, folks. This team is from Chuarzard on the Pokesports Discord. It's not the first Chuar team that we have seen here on Pokesports. Always a banger when we do get to see the teams coming out of the Chuarzard uh, laboratory. If you guys want to go ahead and have the chance to submit a team here for us, join our Discord. Links to that are at Pokesports.info. I'm super backed up on teams, so it might take me a while to actually notice the team. So please, if you post it on that Discord, don't kill it or try not to kill it because I might try to use it and then it's just not there anymore, and then you missed out. So, my advice is don't kill the rental code after you post it. That's just my opinion, though. Anyway, if you guys are excited to see what the heck the Thunderous is gonna do, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. And with that said, let's get on through today's video. We got a maybe Trick Room team here. They, I mean, they do have a Follow Me user, they do have a Rage Powder user, they do have an Amoongus, and they do have a Fridge Wrap. It might just be an anti-priority team, though, though, to be honest. Listen, I don't mind um, just going Pelipper and and Thundy T right away, I don't think. I don't think I mind that at all. I mean, I do mind the fact that, hey, maybe I'm about to get Ivy Cudgel to the face. But I'll bring our child on in as a switch in. That should be a okay. Now, as for what I do about their Chen Pao and their Dragonite, it's a great question. Don't actually have an answer to that one. Like, I could bring my, my Rillaboom, but then I have to worry about the Ferrigiraf with the anti-priority, but I think that's fine. I'm gonna bring in Rillaboom. I'm still gonna bring it. Just because in a world where we knock out the Ferrigiraf, we could still use our Grassy Glide and still be fine against things like Chen Pao. Two Grassy Glides is all I need against a Chen Pao. Everything else after that is just winning. We'll see how the rain do. Amungi and the Golden Go are gonna be my opponent's golden lead here, all right. Fascinating, interesting, fresh. I have maybe Wide Guard. I do have Wide Guard. Could catch him off guard or I could just Hurricane. And I could just Wild Bolt Storm. Call it a day. Flying Terror doesn't make a difference here. Yeah, I'm gonna hold Terras and Wild Bolt Storm. I'm not wasting any time here, folks. Not a single second is gonna be spent wasting. I think I have the perfect lead for this team. The Amongus has to either Terrastalize into water or leave. It doesn't have another choice. It's not gonna appreciate any combination of my two moves right now. That's fine, too. That's why we Wild Bolt Storm! Okay. Nice little chip there on the Golden Go. I'll take it. Hurricane should finish the Amoongus, hopefully. Alright, great. Alright, Amoongus is gone. Big deal. Huge deal. 
And also, we learned that we double out speed to this Golden Go as well. Also, nice deal. And then just throw a Shadow Wall our direction. That's fine. I live it. Hardly. <laughs> Almost not, but I do. In comes Chen Bao. All right, all right, all right. Chen Pao's here to make us sad. But we do have a Weather Ball to throw into the Golden Go. And they want to sucker punch us, so I'll just heart swap into my child on for now. See if I can bait them into giving me a free plus one. Hello, it's me, our Chalodon. They actually swap out the Golden Go. Who else do they have? Okay. I should have hurricaned, I guess, but Weather Ball should still do something. Yeah. Damage. All right. Now, what do we do? I could lock in a Tailwind, but if they're E-speeding me, that won't really matter too much. I'm just going to Hurricane the Dragonite now. Fairy Terra. And also Electroshot Dragonite. I think I still have all of the appropriate advantages on the field currently. This also covers me for the incoming Sacred Sword that's about to come my way. But also, it does also, you know, make me neutral to every incoming E-Speed coming my way, and I don't have defense boosts yet. We shall see, though. Again, I still think I have a lot of momentum this game. Our Chowdon's not an easy threat to knock out. Problem is, I now kind of suck against the Make It Rain, but that's what Wide Guard is for, assuming I don't lose my Pelipper immediately. Ice Spinner. Ooh, okay. Onto my Pelipper slot, too. They, they might be doubling my Pelipper this turn. Oh, it doesn't matter. Big ol' Hurricane onto the Dragon. I gotta chip it down a little bit more. Electro Shot also outspeeds. World's slowest knight? Where's your E-speed? Give me that plus one, thank you. Electro Shot! Bop! Not a bye-bye, but still a bop. Ooh, they declaw me. Oh, well, you can't do that to my other guy. All right, good news is we know they don't have refrigerator in the back. So we can bring in Arilla, and we can click fake out on things. And since they're probably banded, let's just fake out Chen Pao. Since they're probably banded, I'm going to fire off another Electro Shot into the Dragonite here. That's fine, too. Oh, Grassy, glad you later. Are they able to change their moves? They might be Assault Vested. They're Assault Vested, okay. That explains why we weren't able to do that much damage to it, even with the Hurricane. Okay. AV. I respect it. Plus two now, though, baby. You gotta fear me even a little bit. Now the only Pokemon I need to I need to uh, knock out next is that Chen Pao, who thankfully didn't click Ice Spinner yet. Golden Go coming back out. How much HP you got? Okay, so I can't one shot you, but I can Grassy Glide the Chen Pao, and I can Flash Can at the Chen Pao to knock it out. Yeah. I'm doubling Chen Pao this turn. They're going to Terrastalize. Game's still spicy, folks. It's going to be the Golden Go. Who's a steel... Ooh, okay. I should be able to outspeed the Golden Go because of how slow we saw it was. But I don't think I live the Golden Go. There's the Ice Spinner. Into my Rilla will knock my Rilla out. I should be able to outspeed this Mega Rain, finish off the Chen Pao, and then die immediately. Thank goodness. Okay. Flash Cannon. Wish me luck, folks. Two times stab on this Mega Rain now. Unless they click Nasty Plot like an absolute G. No, they click Mega Rain. Single target of Mega Rain. I'm dead. 
I'm so dead. I've never been deader in my life. Yeah. It's a single targeted Wild Bolt Storm. I might be able to win because of that fact. Okay. Uh, never mind. How do I win now? How do I do it now? How do I win now? Oh, okay. I gotta rely on the blind one. Oh, 80 accurate. I'm gonna be more upset. I'm gonna be so much more upset if I go for a T-Ball and it lives than if I go for a Wild Bolt Storm and I miss. Oh, this decision is impossible. It's a 10 base power difference, but a 20 accuracy difference. I think I have to go for the Wall Bolt Storm. I got it! And it still lived! No! Para, hold up! I gotta hit another one though. Oh, this game just got spy. I gotta hit another one. I'm, I'm scarfed. I wish I just went for T-Bolt then. <laughs> Let's go for it. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> they didn't, I could have missed. Brother, you threw. Dave, Dave and George, both of you, you threw. Do you know you're up against Kevin from Pokey Sports? I could have very well missed that move. We take those on to the next. Not too shabby. GG's. Rain v rain. It's about to get interesting. I tried. I don't know. Okay. What do we do? We have practically the same team. Pretty much. Give or take two Pokemon. We have different dragon types. All right. Unfortunately, they do have a Swift Swimmer on their team. I don't have the best matchup against that Swift Swimmer either. Our Chowdon could go absolutely great for us, I think. I'm almost inclined to lead with my... My Thundee. Or actually, let's go with our Chowdon plus Rilla. Bring Pelipper in the back and then Thundee in the far back. We'll call it those four. I'm still going to bring my Pulper just in case they don't bring the rain for some reason. I still want to have rain up. It's just I want to have rain up while simultaneously taking care of that drag, uh, that the Kingdra there. All right, shoes. Garchomp and Ensign going to be their lead, actually. Interesting. All right, they get a fake out turn is what they get here. We should be pretty okay to fake out their fake out though. And just go for a Fairy Terra Dragon Pulse on the Garchomp. Yeah, just fake out their, their Ensign for now. We should be able to outspeed the Ensign. Unless it's like faster than me and I wasn't paying attention. But I think the Grassy Terrain did go up before the, the Intimidate. Okay, they're just gonna hard swap. That's fine. Go into Pelper. Do me that favor. Neat! Okay, that's what we asked for. That's what we wanted. Now, what if I went for an Electro Shot into that shot? Like an absolute G. I didn't, but imagine. Why well, break any potential sats that this Pelper has? That's the good news. And I get a free Dragon Pulse on a Garchomp, right? Should be fine by me. Your EQ is not going to do that much damage to me either because Grassy Terrain's on the field. Clap. And Deep Pulse. We're faster than Chomp, by the way. Yeah, EQ. Yeah, this is fine. There's no damage here. Hilarious. Free defend. Do that again. You know what? Garchomp is no longer a Pokemon in my brain. My brain just turned off. It said Garchomp doesn't exist. So all we got to do... Electro shot into the Pelper now. And hard swap my my floaty friend. 
My electric floaty friend. They can't even go for the uh, the dragon claw on me anymore. The fairy terror just kind of hard stops this. Uh... Oh, they're a very fast Pelipper though. Okay. Well, I'm glad I got this Electro shot off. The fact that the Pelper outsped the Garchomp is wild to me. But hey, you do you, pal. Free plus one special attack. A free Electro shot. Bop. Bye. Awesome. Pelper's gone now, which means that so is their wide guard if they had that in the back. Brother hits Stealth Rock. Great thing my flying type's on the field right now. Garchomp just hit Stealth Rock, okay. What a time. Well, we already know we outspeed the Garchomp. Oh, Kingdra outspeeds everything. And I can't stop that. Um, I'm gonna depulse it though. Do I? Yeah, I depulse it though. And I think I'm gonna commit to a, I'm gonna commit to a full Snarlbot here. No, no, Garchomp's not a Pokemon. So what I should do is I'm gonna go for Electro Shot while also going for just a Wild Bolt Storm. I know it's not gonna affect the Garchomp. And before the Garchomp terrestrialized into water right now. <laughs> now the King just gonna be the Terrastalize. It's gonna be straight Water Terror here. So I'm glad that I decided to go for a Wild Bolt Storm. I am Scarfed and very fast, so I might outspeed. I don't. They go for Surf, actually, but I should live this. Wait, maybe not. Hardly. I hardly did. I hope I electroshot it. Did I electroshot? I really hope I did. Um, sorry, Thunderous. This wasn't your game. I can always grassy glad that dude now. Thank goodness I electroshotted. Woo! All right. That hurt. Assault Fast saved me. I could appreciate it. They didn't miss like a muddy water would have forced them to. Three plus two electro shot onto the Kingdra. Sayonara, they're down to one. And I got a fake out turn. I just gotta make sure my fake out turn doesn't coincide with my final grassy glide turn. That would be bad. All right, let's go into Rilla. We didn't even need to bring our Pelipper here. Ooh, Incy. Oh, that's right, that's their last Pokemon. Oh yeah, that's right. I also have Stealth Rocks on my side of the field. Okay, we know our Fake Out outspeeds their Fake Out. We go for the Body Press. We go for the Fake Out, that should be a GG. Or plus two defense, I think? Clap. Flinch. Crit Flinch. Crit mattered. Bop. Bye, Ensign. Second dub with the Thundee team. Granted, this was Archaladon's game, though. Archaladon really dismantled that rain team. We we did everything we had to do at the appropriate time with, against that rain team with this Archaladon. I'm proud of ourselves. GG's. Journeyman version two. Man upgraded himself. Okay. They got a Greninja on the field, folks. Tell you what, I'm not loving that Zapity dose. Especially not my Pelipper. I think I lead with double, double, double these. I go Pelipper plus, plus Thunderous T right away. Try to set up Tailwind against them, because they do have Tailwind on their side of the field, and I don't want to fall behind when I'm up against them. Maybe our Chalodon and Instant in the far back too? Although Rilla kind of screams to me, hey, use me, use me, but I don't know, it's that Golden Go. I guess what does Golden Go do our, to our Chalodon? Yeah, let's bring, let's bring Rilla here. We'll bring Rilla over and see. Why not? Let's try it out. It might be fine. Might not be horrible. Journeyman version two. Greninja Golden Go, double GG lead. Okay, they're already saying GG before the battle even starts to me. I don't respect that. That's mean. All right, well, I have Wide Guard if I want to use it. Or I click Tailwind. 
I think for now I'm clicking Tailwind. And I'm clicking Wall Bolt Storm. I'm not wasting time here. Now, the unfortunate thing is if they click Water Shuriken, I gave them rain. But we shall see. Water Shuriken, in general, doesn't do that much damage. I believe in you, Thundee. Remember, it's your video. Don't let me down. Don't lose to the Pokeball fade. Has anyone in real life, like, mimicked that fade already? I'm sure, I'm sure it exists somewhere. If you guys have that on the side of your head, send me a photo on, on X. X. They're water tearing! Oh, they're so going for water shuriken, by the way. No, they're just outspeeding and smacking me with a weather ball right now, dude. I'm the deadest thunderous. What? Okay. No, too bad it was your video, Thunderous. And I'm brought to one. Dude. I might be in trouble here. Interestingly enough, let's go into our Chaladon and try again. They outsped a Scarfed Thunderous T, which means they're most likely also Scarfed, by the way. Um, I'm gonna go for Weather Ball now. I'm gonna fire an Electro Shot into this Greninja. I hopefully outspeed now. I don't- I don't have a stupid slower Chalodon. Chalodon's actually pretty fast on this team. Don't actually know the exact set. I have it, like, right here next to me, though. Yeah, 156 speed on this Archaladon. Oh, they still outspeed. Okay. Fine. They're just trying to do as much damage to my Archaladon as possible. Brother, you're hurting way too much here. Free stamina boost, though, so I'll take that. I also have Weather Ball! Decent damage. Now, hopefully this does knock out the Greninja, so I don't have to worry about this thing anymore. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, this might be another battle where our Chaladon carries the uh, Thunderous, I guess. <laughs> Thunderous, you had such a good first battle. What happened? Greedy. Oh, that's real greedy, Tom. Are you sure? Why would you do that? They got to be setting up a Tailwind next turn, huh? Why else would you do that? No, they're not! They're just relying on a redirection, I guess. Whatever, I hurricane here now, and then I snarl. Oh, I don't have snarl. That's why they did what they're doing. Well, I try to electroshot the golden go. Yeah, they follow me. Fair. Does my hurricane go first? Yeah, right? Um, if I can knock straight knock here with the hurricane, that's great. Neat! Winning! Doesn't matter how strong a Greninja is! You just wanted to stop me from having a, a Thunderous do something in today's battle? Well, I'll tell you what, you were successful! But I'm not giving you this game. Nah, nah! We're taking this game, whether you like it or not! Our Chowdon's popping off, baby. Okay! It's now a 3v1 situation. I got a 1 HP Pelipper and an Archalodon at plus 2 attack, plus 1 defense. I'm feeling confident. Zippity Zap is here. So much for my confidence. I have a 4 times effective Pokemon on the other side of the field. Tell you what, I'm gonna Weather Ball. And an Electroshot is technically still my highest damage output. Uh, no, actually it's... No, but Electroshot gets me to plus 3. So technically, yeah, it is Electroshot, huh? <laughs> Weather Ball, we outspeed thanks to that Tailwind from so long ago. Big old damage onto the Zapdos, followed by my Electro Shot. We just outspeed and win. Nice Greninja, pal. <laughs> Journeyman version 2. GG's. That was actually very interesting Greninja, though. Like, real talk, I wasn't expecting the Water Terra. Plus the uh, Choice Scarf. Plus 
the weather ball in the rain to like obliterate my face. GG's. Let's go for another one because again, Thunderous didn't do anything this last one. We have a lot of time left. Double Genie's King Gambit and friends. Oh, we do not love Double Genie's as a Thunderous player. We also don't love Double Genie's plus a Raging Bolt as a Thunderous player. This is definitely going to be a Backscalber game somewhere here. It's just a matter of where. Definitely in the back, right? I'm going to leave Pelipper. I think it's Pelipper, Thundee, plus our Chalodon, Backscalibur in the back. If they lead Landorus, I'll be surprised. Tickle me surprised. I'll be very surprised. But we definitely have to match Tailwind wherever we're going. The good news is if that is going to be a Scarfed Ursh, then we're going to catch him off guard by we also being Scarfed. The other good news is technically Raging Bolt can't do anything except Draco Metering, I guess. My Thunderous. Can't go for a Thunderclap on Thunderous, is what I'm trying to say. Because a Volt Absorb. All right, Thundee. Remember, this is your video. Make an impression. That's a cute trainer card. Make an impression. An impression. Whether it's a good one or a bad one, I need an impression. Raging Bolt Ogre Pond going to be my opponent's lead here today. All righty. I'll be honest. I'll be real. I'll be genuine. Don't love seeing big, scary Raging Bolt on the field right now. I might click Ghost Terra. Wait on. No. I'm going to click Tailwind. I'm going to click Flying Terra, Terra Blast on this Ogre Pond right now. I'm going to try to get rid of this Ogre Pond. All right, here's my Terra first. I think my Pelper should outspeed a Raging Bolt. I'll, I'll be a little bit embarrassed if I don't. But I definitely think I, think I will. Big old flying Terra Terra Blast on the grass type. Get out of here. Bet you didn't see this one coming. Pop! Bye bye! Thundee did a thing. It just took four battles. We did it. <laughs> All right. Good news. Good news. Good news. Tailwind's up now, too. Pelper's going to go down to Focus Ash, and we'll just call it there, man. I can deal with Raging Bolt later. I have Bax Caliber for that thing. Now I probably get Thunderclapped on Pelipper. I could attempt to swap. Or I could just accept death. Tornadus is here now. Okay, they're going to match the Tailwind is all they're going to do. I'm going to wide guard just for the bleak wind. Uh, I might as well terror blast tornadoes too. I'm here. Force them onto another T-ball if they want to knock on my Pelipper. Okay, they're just protecting. Oh, which means they're probably just going to T-ball here, right? Wide guard. Do we see the thunderclap? We don't. Okay, yeah. They know better. I don't want to... Oh, no. They're just Dragon Pulsing. Ouch. Maybe I should attack then. Yeah, I'm going to double the Thornatus now. I kind of want one of my two Pokemon to go down. So I can bring in my actual scary Pokemon on the field. All right. They just match your Tailwind for now. No Thunderclap, though. Okay. Big old Terra Blast. I knocked the Torn. Nice. All right. Listen. My lead taking out two Pokemon. Not too shabby. Not too shabby whatsoever. I still have one more turn of Tailwind as well. I can make it happen. They are ignoring my Pelipper, by the way. Kind of scares me that they're doing that. I'm going to get my backs on the field because I think their last is Landorus. Nice. 
All right, I got him there. The backs can delete both of these Pokemon. They have one Terra to use, and I have one turn to tail one left. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna Weather Ball Landorus. I'm just gonna Glaive Rush the Raging Bolt and hope that it doesn't Fairy Tear on me. Woo! Spicy game, spicy game, spicy game. It's my last turn to Tailwind. I gotta use it up. They definitely protect Landorus, right? Oh, uh, let's find out. I was wrong! Dang it! Oh, no! <laughs> Man. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, this hurt me on the inside. Hold on, I still might win. It's not going to be easy by any means, um, but it's still possible. Because getting rid of that Landorus makes a big difference for us, I think. Back Calibur did nothing for me, though. All right. I could try to set Tailwind again. In fact, I think I will try to set Tailwind again. And I do nothing but click... Flash Cannon, right? Or do I try to get one plus one at least? I think I'll try to get one plus one. Let me hit Tailwind. No, I, I should just start flash cannoning. I have a... Yeah, I should start flash cannoning. I'm not gonna hit Tailwind. They depulse. AV. Does about half. Okay, stamina means absolutely nothing here. I'm gonna match the Tailwind this turn now. How much can the flash cannon do? About half, okay. Listen, we got a game now, folks. Blind hurricanes, let's do it. We got a game now. I went to 184 to 99. If I get high rolled here, that would be the biggest issue. Let's just flash cannon though. Blind Hurricane. Yep, sure is. Okay. Unfortunate. We do outspeed Flash Cannon. It gets it down so darn low. Depulse. 24. Okay, they can Thunderclap one of my two Pokemon now. Uh, does a Weather Ball finish there? Wish me luck. A base 50 normal type move? I'm not missing again. I refuse to. Flash Cannon. <laughs> There's a thunderclap. Will knock out my ra my Archaladon. I get it. I don't have another choice though. Weather ball, please. Weather ball, please. Do something. It's enough. Raging bolt's gonna go down. Jeez. Heart thump in the first game. Heart thump in the second game. And what a battle we had for y'all today. Four wins. Charizard, you got yourself a team here, folks. You got yourself a rain team here, folks. Probably one of the better rain teams that I've ever played here on the channel, by the way. Doesn't really have like a dedicated super rain sweeper like a Swift Swimmer, but still works very well by having the Archaladon on it and by having the Rillaboom on it and just other Pokemon that really benefit from rain in general. Anyway, that's the video, folks. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button on your way out. And also make sure to send Chwarzart some Pokesports love on the Pokesports Discord. Remember, if y'all want to go ahead and send me a team to play, join Discord. Links for that are at Pokesports.info, along with the Crit Matter t-shirt, the Moon Bear hat, and everything that you can find Pokesports. With that said, see you guys again here tomorrow for some more VGC. I'm Ken's Pokesports. Peace out, and bye-bye.